Hey guys, it's Kelly. It's Kelly, and this is Brenda. Hey guys, it's Kelly. Hey guys, it's Kelly. Hey guys, it's Kelly, and today I'm filming a new video. In this video, I'm gonna be filming myself cleaning. So it's gonna be my first ever clean with me. So let me know down below what you guys thought about this video at the end. So first I'm just doing the dishes. These dishes have been in the sink for way too long. <laughs> also, I just wanted to add in that I'm not a professional cleaner and if I did anything wrong or if you thought that I should do something differently, you can always comment down below, but just know that I'm not a professional and I'm also only 22 years old, so I haven't learned that much yet. <laughs> Next, we're just putting away the air fryer and throwing away the candy that's in this jar and refilling it with Swedish fish that my husband needed at the store. Also, I just wanted to apologize if the camera moves or if it's out of focus. My husband is the one filming me and he kind of moved all over the place. So I'm really sorry if that bothers you. Next I'm going to be taking the Method All-Purpose Cleaner. I really like Method cleaners. I really like the way that they smell. I'm also using a ton of different rags in this. I don't know if you'd see that they're different, but yeah, I switch out normally depending on what spray I'm using. Also, I just wanted to ask, do you guys also like to clean off your countertops? I feel like it's the first thing I like to do whenever I clean just because it makes the biggest difference. Also right here, I'm using these little sponges that I got at Daiso and they just really help get stains off of the white marble. You could also use um, ones from the Dollar Tree or Arm & Hammer is what I'm trying to think of, I think. Also that was my husband in the video if you didn't see him or if you don't know who he is. Next thing I'm using is the Method Heavy Duty Degreaser. I use this on the oven. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. I'd recommend it. I also use it for the inside of the microwave, but for some reason I completely forgot to clean out the microwave in this video, so yeah. And then I'm using the Pledge Clean It Multi-Surface Cleaner for the stainless steel. I don't really like this for my stainless steel. I know a lot of people like it with their stainless steel appliances, but for some reason it leaves a lot of streaks on mine. So if you have any other products that you like, please comment down below just because I just don't like this. Next, I'm just drying this fruit container. I was supposed to put grapes in it, but I just didn't feel like it right then, so I put it away. But um, those containers are from Aldi, and we use them for our fruits and vegetables. And then I forgot that to wipe down the oven, so I just did that real quick. Next, I'm just going to be cleaning out the sink. Our sink deeply needed to be scrubbed. It was 
terrible. I used the method cleaner and just wiped it down. And I use this little brush just to scrub it and hose it down. And then I always like to dry out my sink, but then I realized that I really need to scrub it a little bit more, so I got these sponges. And these are the scrubbing buddy ones from the Dollar Tree. They work amazingly. They're just, I think you get like two or three in a box. And I scrubbed out like the drains of the sink and that was absolutely disgusting. And then I used these lemon garbage disposal cleaners. I just put it down there and then turn it on. I don't know if I have to explain that. My husband just told me to do it. And I dried out the sink and I'm just putting everything back onto the sink that stays there. Also, I'm gonna be doing an updated apartment tour very soon. If you can't tell, our apartment is completely different than the last time that you saw it. Um, we have a full new living room set, so yeah, I'm definitely going to make a video on that. And if you want to see it, please comment down below and I will put it up for you guys. And then I'm just wiping down the surfaces in the living room and the living area. I would normally take everything off the shelves, but I had recently deep cleaned everything, so I was just kind of doing it for show. <laughs> but yeah. Next, I'm going to be vacuuming. My husband and I just recently got this vacuum. If you saw our vlog, it's the Shark Rocket. It's amazing. It picks up everything. And it's also really satisfying to see the tank being empty at first and then like way too full. Cause like we vacuum every other day and every time it's full. So I don't understand, like we're not filthy human beings. <laughs> Also, if you can't tell in this video, not been having the best day. Had a lot of cramps today, and uh, just in a minute, you're gonna see me completely fail. Like right, I think, right now, the vacuum completely fell over and the tank opened and everything fell on the floor. <laughs> completely dysfunctional, but yeah. Also, the one thing about, I like about this vacuum is it has two different settings. One is for like the ground and then the other one is for like surfaces like carpets also right here the vacuum just completely ate up the blanket and <laughs> I needed my husband to come take it out <laughs> and then it does it again because for some reason I thought I could vacuum the blanket I don't think I was thinking this day and then it wasn't going straight so you just see me slapping it against the couch and then just vacuuming our bedroom. I didn't really clean in here just because I had cleaned in there yesterday. 
so I didn't want to clean it again just for the video but yeah you have not seen our bedroom other than in my like sit down videos so everything is different <laughs> even though you wouldn't know and I'm just vacuuming the hallway there's a lot of things on the ground that like that like wicker shelf isn't gonna be there I'm just vacuuming the bathroom and I'm just using the method anti back spray I use it in the bathroom it's very strong I don't think I'd recommend it if you don't have windows in your bathroom so yeah I don't think I'm gonna repurchase this one I might get something more gentle for the bathroom just because we do not have windows to vent it and also that's a squatty potty it's normally not on the top of the toilet I was just prepping for mopping And then I'm using the Method Antibac Toilet Cleaner. This I really like. The toilet stays clean for so long just by using this. And then the wand is from the Dollar Tree. We usually replace it every month, so yeah. Next, I'm gonna be mopping. Also, I put my hair up. I was completely done with it. I definitely lifted it down just so that way it looked better in video. But yeah, I use Fabulosos for our floor. It just smells so good. And then also, this is the O Cedar Mop. I found this from um, Beauty and the Beast Sims. And I swear, like this mop makes me feel so amazing. Like I love this mop. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like so easy to mop with this. Like the mop itself is super light. And then also the mop bucket, you don't have to like wring it out. You just step on it really nice <laughs> and also this like mop head I talk a lot about this mop I really like it but um, the mop head picks up everything like if like you vacuum and you can't pick up some pieces of your hair or like if you have a dog I feel like this would get all of the dog's hair up too if you have a dog let me know if that actually works And then the last thing I have to do is mop the bathroom. I also leave the mop bucket and the mop draining overnight in the shower, just so that way it's not wet. But yeah, that's my whole video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more clean with me's, please let me know down below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.